Sup everyone, I'm your female otaku, and I'm here to give you my first impressions on Don Machi spin-off Sword Artoria. And apologies for the mess in the back, I'm currently doing some spring cleaning. Do you have to watch Don Machi in order to watch Sword Artoria? I personally say yes, because this takes place in the exact same timeline as Don Machi, because after reading the description, you know, before Sword Artoria aired and I read the description, I wasn't too sure if this was the kind of spinoff that was a prequel or a sequel, but turns out it takes place during the exact same time as Don Machi. So I would say yes, you do have to watch Don Machi if you want to watch Sword Artoria. I actually reviewed Don Machi, so if you want to go check that out, link is in the description or a card is popping up right about now. Basically my stance on Don Machi, I found it to be pretty entertaining. At first I was trying to avoid it like the plague, but then a lot of people requested me to watch it and so I did check it out. And and it turned out to be pretty fun. It's certainly not the best thing out there. In fact, it's pretty average when you think about it really hard, but I just really enjoyed the situation the characters got into, and I really enjoyed the characters as well, especially the side characters. Like, I think her name was Ryu. She was an elf, and like she had her like her own familia and stuff, but I think they all died out or something like that. I forgot what happened to them, but she was pretty cool. I loved her. With this episode, we got to learn more about Ai's team, and we actually got to see more members than what we did see previously in Don Machi, so that was pretty cool to see. Like, I, I remember some of the characters, from Ice's team, but not all of them. Plus, I don't think we got to meet all of them in Daomachi as well. Like, I don't remember them having a boss. I thought, I just assumed that Ice was the boss and then there was Loki, you know, the one that created the family in the first place. So, seeing this boss guy, I was just like, whoa, how long have you been there? <laughs> like, was, was he in Daomachi? I, I, don't, I don't remember him being in Daomachi. <laughs> like, guys, it's been a long time, okay? I haven't seen it since the finale episode. It's not like I rewatched it after it was done. So this was back in 2015. I remember not really liking the twins too much. And when we first see the twins in this episode, the memories all came back to me. I'm just like, oh boy, yep, here we go again with the whole flat chested and the big breasted type thing. Here we go again. But they actually grew on me very quickly when we saw them fight. These girls are no joke, especially Tione. Oh man, when she gets mad. She goes in and those are the type of ladies I like. Like, oh, that was so cool, man. She decided to say screw you to the acid. <laughs> the acid that was spilling out everywhere, you know, gushing right in front of her face. Like, this was burning her skin. But no, she doesn't care. She just still decided to punch right through that caterpillar thing, caterpillar thing and rip out the stone. Like, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. And whoa, when they were fighting the Minotaurs, they didn't hold anything back. That was so cool. Like the flat chested girl, she did like this big old roundhouse high kick, which is utterly insane. How do you get your leg all the way up there? Oh my God, this girl must do some major splits. And then we have Tione. She just hops on top of the one dude's shoulders and just, just cracks the man's neck. Just right there. Like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it was pretty cool to see Eyes fight again. Eyes didn't really have too much screen time back over in Don Machi, even though it seemed like she was gonna be, you know, one of the main characters, cause she was like an inspiration to Belle, but she really didn't have too much screen time or much focus at all in Don Machi. So I'm really glad to see that she is gonna be getting more screen time with this spinoff. However, it looks like that Lefia, Lefia, the, the new character in the group or whatever, she seems like she's gonna be the new main character. I'm not too sure. I kind of want Eyes to be the main character because she, she definitely deserves it. <laughs> She's really cool and there's so much more to her than we know already. So that would be pretty awesome for her to be the main character, but it seems like it's going to be Lithia. So, uh. Basically, I'm excited to see where Sword Artoria goes, what's going to be the main story, learning more about Eyes' team, and learning more about Eyes herself. And I'm probably going to stick with these reviews depending on how many people are interested, but Don Machi was a pretty popular series back when it was airing, so Sword Artoria should be no exception. Hopefully. <laughs> I guess we'll see how it goes. Seriously, this guy again? Sorry, this chainsaw, lawnmower, leaf blower, I don't know what this man's using, but he's been annoying the heck out of me. This is my second time recording this review, okay? Because this man keeps interrupting and, and now he stops. Let me know if you're going to pass on this until Sword Artoria finishes airing or if you're going to watch it weekly like I am. And catch me later as I review Recreators and Shingeki no Bahamut Virgin Soul. I'm your female otaku. Sign out.